Hey Space Watchers and welcome back here from the first day of the Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. So the first day is almost over so you hear the noise level because people are getting ready to party but we don't, we still work and I have the great honor now to conclude our final interview of the day with Dr. Walter Pelzer, the Director General of the German Space Agency at the DLR. Correctly yep. said? Perfect, and thank you very much for having us. <laughs> thank you, Walter, for, uh, for taking the time. So, tell us, what is the DLR doing this year here at the Space Symposium? Well, here from the German Space Agency, um, we are over here to be in touch with our international partners. Um, we meet tons of people over here. Actually, there's no other place where commercialization of space is so visible, so agile. We're here in this symposium. And that's the reason why we, if we want to foster commercialization, this is the place to be. We have wonderful discussion with our international partners, with industry, and try to move from the government to government more to a business to business relationship when it comes to space. Because this is where we are heading for and this is what we have to work for. This is our opinion. And the second part, um, you spoke already with Anke. Yes. She probably tell, told you what... Uh, DLR R&D did over here and so it's very important for them as well because they can show that DLR R&D is the biggest R&D facility when it comes to space in Europe. So, sounds good. So let's focus back to our, our business or our market in Germany. We had just the, the, uh, the budget cuts. Um, so what are the impacts? What are the impacts you are feeling? you are to work with? Well, my feeling is if there's a budget cut, that's always, uh, it's always hard. It's always hard. But uh, what we have to do, we have to be more efficient. We have to be, yeah, we have to think how we can do better things better, faster, and at the end, more efficient, meaning that we get the same out of our project with less impact, that we can partner more. Also, these are things we do over here that if we do are not able to do with our resources at hand that we can do them over here, that we have to find partners to put missions into practice. And this was works very well because our science base as well as our industry base is very high um, recommended over here so that uh, we can actually pave the way that we come up with a lot of corporations, bilateral, multilateral, and this is the way how it works. Space is a team sport. So made in Germany still has a value here. In space, it has a value over here. That's great to hear. Give us an update on, on Artemis, because we have seen a, a lot of our pictures on social media in the last weeks with astronauts in, in the White House, and there were German astronauts, no, either astronauts holding a German passport, if I'm not mistaken. That's true, absolutely. You phrase it perfect. I couldn't, I couldn't phrase it better. It's uh, German, it's ESA astronauts with German passports uh, showing up together with Minister Habeck and Anna Christmann in Washington. Uh, their tour was very highly uh, recognized and welcomed here in, in the US. And Artemis works well. And also NASA has some kind of budget cuts, yeah. but Artemis is still priority number one over there. Um, you see it everywhere, everything is running smooth more or less. Um, if we can say so in, in space and uh, they are 110% committed to put it into practice and uh, the European service module with a very very big footprint um, of Germany yeah. is still priority number one when it comes to international cooperation of NASA that was mentioned here a lot of time and uh, I think Germany and ESA can be very very proud to be such an important part an indispensable part of Artemis. Okay. G give us an update on what is the DLR, your agency, focusing at the moment about? What are the, the key priorities you have on your agenda? Well, the key priorities we have on our agenda is uh, when it comes uh, to access to space, our dual track. On the one hand side, we make, need to make sure that we regain our independent access to space. So to put into practice our civil... Yeah, here? Yeah, that's, that's the second track. Okay. I'm talking right now about the first track. The first track is uh, regaining the 
um, independent access to space, and we are looking forward to the maiden flight this summer. Ariane um, 6 you're talking about. Ariane 6. And at the same time, putting into practice the severe decision that we actually engage and uh, improve competitiveness and that we move from a governmental yeah, investment to a private investment that we become customers, that we buy services in the future uh, and in the future that we have private investment in launchers in Europe and uh, as you said over here the private uh, micro launcher initiative is the first step but it's only the first step uh, because they have to be show that they are capable of be looking forward to the maiden flights this year and uh, I wrote already saw the signs that we are running out of time but this is one of the big topics another topic of course is um, Artemis still okay. Artemis we what we have to do um, but what we by all the independent access to space, by all Artemis, what we never ever should forget is that we in Germany do space for a better life on Earth. So we have to make sure that uh, Earth observation, for example, these data are available and that they are used for yeah, problem solving here on Earth. On today we had a wonderful example that another nation is using NMAP data to sort out the big, big issues they have on hand. And it was more or less one of the best moments we had because we did not even know about it because these data are open data. Okay. And uh, we will save quite a bunch of lives and uh, increase health based on these data. And that was just a perfect moment for us to learn that this mission uh, we came up with is now used worldwide to uh, yeah, sort out issues on the actually on Earth. Great. Dr. Pelzer, thank you very much for your time. There's so much more to talk about, but as we got signed from our uh, yeah. producers, we are running out of time. And I think now it's also a good time here at the DLR booth to have a drink or two. Perfect. Right? I'm thank with you. you. Thank, you thank you very much. You. My pleasure. Space Watch out for today.